this is a time lapse of 100 pounds lost in four and a half months, a new pharmaceutical diet drug combination, a case study. My name is James Hercules Carter. I am a heart specialist. And I have a passion for human physiology. And previously, while managing a cardiovascular testing lab, I had been working on the side on developing a prescription diet drug combination with two cardiologists based on the hugely popular diet drugs, FenFen, but which did not damage the mitral valve of the heart. I am a heart valve expert. A famous cardiologist pen pal of mine, Dr. Olivier Amason, used a different Fen to cure his alcohol addiction applying rat studies on himself and wrote the best-selling book, The End of My Addiction. Now, I view addiction, whether it be alcohol addiction, cocaine, gambling, or food addiction, as a broken reward center of the brain, as is clearly demonstrated on brain scan images. Now, here on the left image, red represents addictive cravings. And on the right scan, demonstrates a non-addictive response. These scans are of a cocaine-addicted patient showing a half-second cue of cocaine. The brain reward center, which ties into all the drives of the brain, causes a huge craving as seen as red on the left. The image on the bottom right is of the same patient after treatment with the new fin, which turns off cravings. As you can see, there's a lot less red in the image on the bottom right. I just knew I could apply these findings to turning off hunger and treating obesity. After all, being shown a half-second cue of cocaine is exactly how fast food commercials work to cause cravings for their hamburgers. Now, I did figure out a way, and I decided to write a book about it, which I will discuss how I did it shortly. The new fin didn't seem to turn off hunger by itself at all. Hunger is so important to survival, it has to have more than one path pathway which needs to be interrupted to turn off hunger. And I thought I had a great book to write, but life interrupted. Uh, I forgot about the book, and thus began a, a very dark two-year period of a mystery illness that robbed me of the ability to control my body, to move, to talk, to work, to pay for health care. I gained over 100 pounds just lying in bed, and ironically, rapidly became morbidly obese myself. I didn't have a choice to exercise. After multiple hospitalizations, I finally made it through to a specialty movement disorder clinic where I received a diagnosis, but more importantly, was able to control my body and go back to work. I, I had lost everything at that point. I had divorced my wife so the medical bill collectors did not go after her for the medical bills. I was depressed um, that I had to go bankrupt and couldn't buy a house or a car when I go back to work. In, in an ironic twist, in the same month, I realized I could go back to work my Irish passport had arrived in the mail, and it took me about two weeks to decide to book a flight to Dublin with two suitcases, the clothes on my back, to start a new life. I would work in a pub or a grocery. I figured for six months while my medical registry got transferred over. Uh, just before my flight, I came across a medical recruiter who told me, you're an Irish citizen, mate. You don't need a work visa. Your registries are recognized. Your skills are in high demand in the UK, and we'll have a job before you land. And they did. I worked at the top heart centers in the UK, and then London. A few months at each, still morbidly obese, I never stayed long enough to get into a gym routine, which, uh, when bedridden, I spent all day reading the news and scientific articles on human physiology. Soon, though, I had an opportunity for a lengthy assignment at three different hospitals, but there was one that I just knew I had to choose that hospital. It was a feeling, and I had waited for it to open up. So very quickly, I started this new assignment. I'd mapped out where the gyms were. I just didn't really have the motivation. Uh, but just then, this brilliant and just as beautiful cardiologist walked in my lab, and she uh, said, will you train me? And I said, sure. And we became really good friends, very fast friends. And then one day, I started joking with her that I would write my best-selling diet book on this uh, new diet drug combination, and that I knew how to lose weight because I'm an expert in physiology. And that I would um, take photos every day from multiple different angles to demonstrate how my exercise routine, how effective it was, as, as well as the diet drug combination. And I'd write the book, have this time lapse, and um, restart my supplement business, make a bunch of money and buy her a new house. And uh, buy her a house, period. And she said, I'd like to see that someday. So this is kind of for her. I put it off for months. 
it was in the fall. And so finally over Christmas, I, while everyone else was bu- eating turkey with our family, I was out buying shoes, blister guards, and preparing and writing out my exercise plan because I knew at, at, in about five months our training would end. I just had this artificial deadline. I wanted to do it before our training had ended. Uh, just to prove to her or the, you know, the joke was uh, I actually could do it. And so what you'll see is me uh, losing 100 pounds. About four and a half months. At the end of it, I had a tummy tuck. Uh, and then after that, I sort of um, uh, sculpted my body afterwards. But the, the whole point is an inspirational story of where I came from um, to overcome that. There really is no excuse for any other one, any other person not to just follow my plan and, and forget the gastric bypass surgery. Uh, you can do it by following my exercise plan, following the book. Uh, it, it is just that simple. So here it is. And then I can discuss why the fenfluramine, uh, since I'm a valve expert, why fenfluramine uh, damaged the heart valve and was taken off. There was annual sales of $15 billion. Um, and of course, the lawsuits flew after that. And fenfluramine was pulled from the market. And fenfluramine just got, uh, which is the CNS stimulant anorectic, it got kind of tarred in the process. But it's just been safe. It's safe. It's been around since the 60s, just like the original or like the new fen that I paired it with. And that's all in the book. But the, the key thing about the book is it's about how to lose weight. You don't even need pills if you follow my exercise plan. The pills and the herbal supplement that I, uh, that I had developed just in case people can't get the pharmaceutical drug, uh, that's it, the exercise. The pills just make it a hell of a lot easier. Um, but the exercise program, that's the key. And then the diet, of course. So you have to read the book and follow my plan. If you do exactly what I did, take what I take, follow my advice, there's no doubt that you can't follow in my footsteps. I walk the walk for you. You just do exactly what I do and you will lose the weight. You don't need gastric bypass surgery. That's it, period.